Hello again, Gundam Converge Collectors. So we have this three pack of Cubelies, and it came out in 2013. There's actually no number like SPO1 or anything. It's just a special pack from 2013, and it's been opened, it looks like. And then here's some stats of the robots. They're nearly uh, identical, really. Uh, the only difference, really, is the mass produced one. Well, alright. So this is the first Mark II, which is a success for the first one. LPO Play was a generally good person, but died. So they made a clone of her, and so this is called Play 2, is a clone of the first person. And then this robot has a remote-controlled headset to control the remote-controlled uh, funnels, or the missiles in the back tail. And then the mass-produced one has 30 remote-controlled funnels, whereas I guess these earlier ones did not. But this doesn't have the headset, so only this one you can control the funnels outside of the unit. Alright, random stuff there. And that's all coming from Fandom again, and if you want to confirm what I'm talking about, it would be right here. Okay. Here's some images. Alright, let's get this open. There's probably no gum in here if it's already been opened. everything. Looks like this is the first one. That's part of it. It's a little optics thing in there. And then we have the second pack part. Alright, so it has a silly foot stand, but I don't even use them, so I'm just going to put that in the trash. Let's get this one going here. This is a nice metallic looking, well, I don't know, maybe it's not metallic, but it's purple. I feel like it's metallic, it's awfully shiny, but the contrasting pink is really nice. Pretty weird feet. It's a weird Gundam in general, just the design of it. It's got a matte black torso, and then this pink is carrying across its chest piece. This looks like a separate piece. So, a little hose details there. Alright. So, where'd that head go? Because I want to pop in this thing. So, this must be the bottom of the head. Oh, this actually has two eyes. I don't really, I didn't even realize this thing had two eyes or optics. It's pretty funky. Well, I guess they do have two. I've never, never thought about it. Or do they all have two? I don't know. I watched Double Zeta. I remember seeing these three in the cartoon. But yeah, I can just see those things peeking, and then if you want, you could hold on, have it look in a different direction a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't work very well, though. You only have a few degrees for it to look through. Yeah, I feel like the head should go down more. I guess pressing it all the way down is going to be almost touching this pink thing. Alright, and then uh, here's the back thing. It's nice that it has the chassis number, AMX04, a Xeon logo, and then these, these are the remote controlled funnels, or the missiles, or weapons. I think they have lasers on them, they're not missiles. And then, uh, that's supposed to go in this way, or? I think that peg hole just shrunk or something. Wiggle it in. Alright, like that. And then we have these giant hands on these uh, arms, and uh, I assume that must break free and spin. Yeah, I see a peg. Okay, so yeah. And then some pink in here, and then the shoulders also have two independent armor pieces. Or, I don't know if they're armor or what, but that's what I assume they are. They molded some details on the inside, so that's kind of nice. Oh, I see. It's not supposed to spin. That's not a round, round peg. So I just twisted it for no reason. Might want to crazy glue that in place, or not. It's supposed to have a gap, but it's not even. That's what why I was kind of spinning it. I guess you can twist it down. I 
tight fit there. Uh, this thing I think is supposed to be at an angle or it's a kickstand. Alright, so in this side here, yeah, I'm not gonna waste time moving the hand. But uh, the plates are a mirror image. So two round on this side, three pink slats on that side. But if you flip it around, it goes the other way. Okay, so yeah, very interesting design, that's for sure. Let's get the next one going, the red one. So again, two bags, pretty much the same casting, I imagine. Glossy red again, glossy like the other one. This under, I almost feel like that's metallic as well, but maybe it's not. It's very shiny. It's really hard to get in there. I feel it's not going all the way in, but. The problem is the, the legs are colliding, you know, again, the way. Well, just got to look at it that way. I feel like the red's filling in a lot of the panel gaps of this particular mold. It's interesting, This I didn't even notice these graphics here on the knees, these little yellow bits. It's interesting how just changing the color will let you see different things. So that now that I can see the hands in the they have a lot of molded details in them. I didn't notice that on the gray ones. Still a matte black torso though. I'm gonna have this one look the other way. Just a few degrees though. So the head, yeah, I feel it's kind of muted or something, or the paint it doesn't look very smooth, you know? This is soft plastic though, it's PVC or something. And you gotta really press this down so you can see the eyes poke through. Yeah, Alright. And then this problematic thing again. Why they can't just have round, round peg holes? It's a mystery. It's just so silly to have these weird shapes. You know, if it was round, even if it's not supposed to turn in the real cartoon. These are fantasies, right? This is not a real object. It's a cartoon. So I'd like to have some more playability. The gaps on these are uh, not right. They're pressed together. This one's a little bit better with its gap. Alright, so that's that colorway. Now the mass-produced one should be physically different a little bit. Yeah, I can see extra parts here. Alright, so this is obviously the least colorful, colorful of the three. There is contrasting white, or it's a, actually it's a light gray. There's also a different gray up in here. Actually, yeah, this is different. The torso that's smooth here on the previous ones. The last two, it's got ridging all the way down this shoulder area. This one, definitely different. The bottom of the feet, let's see what difference is. Mm, I think those look right, the same. Uh, the legs. I feel like those legs are the same mold. The 
crotch area looks the same. It's only the torso seems to be a different part. Okay. Oh, funky little vent detail there. What about the back of this one? Oh, it was there. Just, uh, but the peg hole, this one is higher up. That one has some surface right there. And yeah, I cannot. I don't know if there's extra plastic in that groove. Maybe that's why I won't go in there. I have to, might have to heat up that torso and then jam it in there. Alright, so we got the chassis. This time it says G on it for ground produce, ground type or something, or I don't know. And then we have a whole lot more funnels on the bottom of this one, which makes sense. And so that goes in here. Now that wasn't bad at all as far as fitting it. There's a weird hook back on the back of the neck here. And then I think the eyes are much taller, this piece, than the last one. Okay. So the head clearly is totally different. It's got two, like, wolverine wings on it. Interesting. Nice fit. Yeah, you can see the eyes through those holes pretty nice. And then the arms, these, well, this one has a closed fist. The other ones had open ones. You can really see the groove and, the, and uh, other details on the underside of this thing. And then you see how this is V'd out? That's kind of neat. I think it's supposed to be that way. Big peg. Yeah, that hand can rotate. It does collide with the gauntlet, though. You see, the peg hole isn't actually centered. So, in certain instances, the hand will collide with that gauntlet. Oh well, no problem. This is also a fist on this side. So, this antenna piece goes up in here. This one I'll probably crazy glue later. I have a feeling it's gonna fall out. But for the video, it should be fine. Okay. And then these, I guess, just go into this thing. Some sort of antennae, it looks like. And see, I like how these are round, so you can pose them. I I wish, like, all the parts just had round pegs. Give it some playability, right? Well, that's significantly different than the other ones. I, I think I almost like this the most. This one is still... I gotta figure that out. I might have to dip this in hot water, then jam this in there. Or, I guess, crazy glue. Let me come back. So, pleasantly, these two have the same color gray hands. So, I took a fist from one and, you know, swapped it out just to mix them up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I think that helps out with the variety. I actually have another Cubley, uh, the original Cubley. This is number 168 in the Converge lineup. You'll see that the hands are really small on this. Uh, I think this actually came out after this 3 set. So I think this is a little more realistic to the cartoon. Whereas this is very, very goofy. Goofy large hands. And for some reason, the white color it seems to have crisper details. Maybe the mold, actually the mold is different, I think. Yeah, I think like these strakes, they're just smooth strakes here, where the other ones there's like a little rectangle in them. So these things are a different mold. Same with the hands, they're a different mold. Maybe other parts are different as well. Actually, let me just look at this. Mm. Hard to say, too hard to say in this video. The head is definitely different as well, the length of the rear. All right, so since I have watched Double Zeta, here is a Double Zeta number 69 in the overall lineup. And then uh, towards the middle of the series, there was a Psycho 2 Gundam shown in that Converge, I mean that Gundam cartoon. And then this image behind, this is a Queen Mansa. So I have that as well. I've added some decals to these larger ones. Oh boy, that thing is...
So the e EXs are obviously very, they're a different size of Gundam, but that happens in Gundam. There's some really giant ones. So supposedly, I think the, the Mansa evolved from these Cubelys, which is why they look kind of similar. That's what fandom said, but correct me if I'm wrong. I always am wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's get these giant ones out of here. There's double Zeta. And uh, this one. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty cool three set. Uh, you can definitely get different appearances. I mean, this one is physically totally different. And then with the ability to swap the hands over, uh, these two don't look so identical. So I think it works out well. I think it's probably because I've seen the actual cartoon that I, I really like these. They're such weird robots, but uh, they're in the cartoon, so why not? Thanks for watching today. I'll see you in the next Converge video.